It's for Coach Petrino. Seemed like a, get, a lot of getting on guys today. Maybe not see exactly what you wanted to see today. No, I just think that's what you do when you go after each other. I think when we watch the tape, there's going to be a whole bunch of great things. I thought, obviously, the offense had 13 touchdowns, so they did some things right. And then there was times you saw the defense just flying around and knocking really getting after people. So I think there was a bunch of really good things on both sides, you know, by far the best we've been since I've been here. But let's expect more. I guess that's what I'm trying to get. Let's expect more. Let's, let's, we're not going to compare ourselves to what we were in the past ever. We're going to compare ourselves to what we need to be to beat everybody in our conference. So just expecting more from them and, and they're responding well. So we'll just keep it up. It seemed like the defensive line had a really good day stuff in the run today. I don't, I don't know about early. There were some big gashes early. Uh, at times they did. At times they, the, the draw hurt them. The, the more straight ahead stuff, it looked like they did a good job. They got hit by some draws though. What would you say? Because Penny had to have about 160 yards, didn't he? I would guess. What would you say about Linehan's performance? Yeah, I thought he did some really good things, and then he did a couple knuckleheaded things that we can't have happen. That's that's that. He's over that. He's not a freshman anymore. So I thought he played really well at times. But we get down there in the critical zone. He's got to take care of the ball. He's got to be smart. He's got to run when when they drop eight. And so he did a bunch of really good things, but some things that definitely need to be corrected. You think Jake had a little trouble pulling the trigger today on a, a couple, couple of times? Throws? He's second guessing himself. He's just probably nervous. This is kind of his first scrimmage, really. It was his first scrimmage going with the ones a bunch. So he was nervous, but he's believing what you see him pull the trigger. I mean, he just second guessed himself too much. Caden Ellis uh, working with the first team. It looked like how how would you say he played today? I saw him flying around making a bunch of plays. So I would say he played really well. That kid's gonna be a stud. He laid a hit on Duckworth. Is, yeah. is Duckworth doing all right? Or? I think he's going to be okay. With Jake kind of being hesitant there, how much of that is, is, is him being a little tentative, but how much of that is the receivers having trouble with the I think it was I think it was more him being a little hesitant, the ones I saw. There were the guys a few times. So. There might have been one where that happened, but most of the time I think he saw it and he just didn't trust his eyes and didn't pull the trigger. What, what receiver did you like best behind those in that? Um, Jacob Shannon's been the same. You know, I, I would say as the years going gone on, right now Desmond would be number one, Jake would be number two, and Dave would be number three. Actually, those three have played well. You know, the, the, our top three are probably playing better right now than our top three played last year. No question, in my opinion. You know, if you just went, you know, Desmond compared to Josh, Jacob compared to Richard, and Dave compared to whoever the next third guy was, I would say. And then with the, and then with included that Dion and Trent can get some balls at tight end, I, I feel pretty good about our top guys out there. Seems like you had a set five offensive line with the ones today. Was that just kind of seeing? seeing uh, what yeah, kind of moving around. You know, it really is just going to come down to who that fourth guy is, or that fifth guy is. You know, because Jordan right now is Jordan Rose has shown the ability to be a really good tackle or can play guard. So it'll be kind of who steps up and is that fifth player. You know, you got Steve, you got Jordan, you got Calvin, and you got Dallas. Okay, who's the fifth going to be between Calvin White, between um, Andrew Herbs, and between whoever else can jump in there.